Hi everyone, today I will show you how to type unique symbols and emojicons on Android and iOS devices. So let's start the video now. Firstly, go to the 1 to 3 option at the bottom portion of your keyboard to open the symbol section. Now you can see all the symbols that your current keyboard has. Now on many keyboard, if you long press on some of the symbols, you will see some hidden symbols in it. Just long press on the symbols to see if it has any hidden symbols. Secondly, go to the emoji section of your keyboard. Then go to the classic smile emojicon sign at the bottom of your keyboard to go to the emojicon section. Now you can see every emojicon that your keyboard has. These are all the emojicons that my Google keyboard has. To type any of these, just tap on it. Thirdly, to get access to more amazing symbols, go to your language settings, then add the Japanese kana or just simply Japanese keyboard. You can also add the Japanese keyboard on your phone by searching keyboard on your phone settings, then add it from the languages option. Now switch to the Japanese keyboard by pressing the globe icon on the bottom row of your keyboard. Select Japanese from here and done. Now go to the emoji symbol on the bottom left side of the keyboard. It has all the emoji cons that the English keyboard has. But what is new here is the star icon right next to the smiley emoji con at the bottom portion of the keyboard. You will get access to all these amazing symbols if you tap on it. And just tap on the symbols to type it. It also has all the emojis as the English keyboard. And if you want to get the keyboard that I used for the video, search Google Keyboard on Play Store for Android and App Store for iOS devices. Just like this. And since I already have it, it's showing me the uninstall option. But if you do not have it, then it will show you the install option instead. Tap on the install option to download it. And this is not a sponsored video but I will still recommend this as I think it's pretty user friendly and it also has many amazing features. You can also try out other keyboard apps as well. So that's all for this video and I am ending this video here now.